Dan Bongino put his foot down and the vaccine mandates don't stand a chance. Well, maybe I overstated things just a little bit. Welcome to Escape the Echo Chamber. Who is Dan Bongino? Dan Bongino is a former NYPD officer, former Secret Service agent, who is currently a huge, big deal, right-wing radio host, um, conservative. He sometimes called himself a libertarian. I've got a story about that. Uh, but he's very big, very well known, has a, in addition to being big on YouTube, being a regular commentator on, you know, show TV shows, TV channels like Fox News, he has, his show is um, being carried by the Cumulus radio stations all over the place. Let me tell you the story. So you know how I said he sometimes calls himself a libertarian? <laughs> well, that's kind of the reason why Dan Bongino doesn't quite like me. In fact, he's blocked me on Twitter uh, because at one point he was on Fox News and he was talking about Rudolph Giuliani, praising the policies that Rudolph Giuliani put in place in New York City. If you don't realize, if you don't know, Rudy Giuliani was the mayor of New York City and he turned New York City into a police state. So while praising these policies of Rudolph Giuliani, he then goes to say, yeah, see, I'm, I'm somewhat of a libertarian, which prompted me to respond on Twitter very respectfully. Please, 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 please don't call yourself a libertarian. And his response was to block me. Back to the story. So despite our history, Dan Mangino has in initiated and has stated to Cumulus Radio Stations an ultimatum. He's not a fan of the vaccine mandates. And I'm, I'm glad he isn't. I, I'm proud. I'm glad to see a lot of people standing up saying vaccine mandates just are wrong. They shouldn't exist. They shouldn't be, be, be advocated for. They shouldn't be policy. They shouldn't be law. They shouldn't be being forced and pushed on people who choose for their own personal reasons whether medical, religious, or otherwise, that they don't want the vaccine. But cumulus radio stations have said, okay, we're going to we'll be putting a, a vaccine mandate in for all of our um, staff. And he says, despite the fact that he's vaccinated, he's not a fan of the vaccine mandate. In fact, he says that cumulus radio stations has a choice, the vaccine mandates or him. As I've stated, Dan Bongino is already vaccinated. He's a cancer survivor and he felt it was necessary for him to get the vaccine. And let me be clear about that. Regardless of how I feel about the vaccine mandates, I am not advocating that people not take the vaccine. I am not against people taking the vaccine. I believe that is a choice everybody needs to make for themselves. And I believe those choices should be respected. But it is interesting to see him stand up being a person who is vaccinated and say, hey, I'm, I'm willing to put my, my money on the line if that's what he is in fact doing. Some people, maybe cynically, are suggesting maybe this is a ploy, maybe this is a contract negotiation technique. I don't know any of that. No, none of that has definitively come out. No information supporting some people's claims has definitively, I haven't seen any of that. But I am curious as to whether or not Cumulus Radio is actually going to say, okay, this guy's huge. In fact, he took Rush Limbaugh's spot. So, like, that's a significant chunk of viewership, a significant chunk, uh, not even viewership, listenership. It's a radio, radio, they're a radio conglomerate. That's, that could affect their bottom line. Will they be motivated to say, okay, we're going to back up off of this, uh, mandatory vaccination policy. And if they do, that would be a very positive thing to see somebody who, without skin in the game necessarily for themselves, stood up on the behalf of others. And I would have to give him a hand for that. Uh, it's curious to see where it will fall. Once again, there are other considerations. One of those other considerations is that as a comment as a frequent guest on Fox News. And what I'm not sure is whether he's just a, you know, an unpaid guest or whether he actually has um, 
a con contributor contract with them, will he speak out on Fox News vaccine policy? Because they do have a vaccination policy, but Fox News does present an opportunity to opt out with daily COVID testing. It doesn't appear that uh, uh, Cumulus has provided that same opt out with, with daily testing or with you know weekly or whatever testing. But people are saying, hey, why don't you speak on Fox? The simple fact is this vaccine mandate, these vaccine mandates, whether coming from the government or coming from uh, companies, I think are pure overreach. He did make the point, and other people have made this point, that a private company can choose its policy as to, you know, um, if, it, if it requires people to be vaccinated or not. I say there's a caveat. If you have at-will employments, okay, then for whatever reason they can choose, hey, this is, these are our standards now, and if you don't comply with the standards, you're gone. If you don't have at-will employment, if there's a contract involved, that seems like it could be potentially breach of contract to change the terms of employment while employment is already uh, underway. If they put that in a new contract and you, at that point, I would gather you would have the opportunity to either agree or disagree. But if we're going to keep it real, if we're going to keep it 100%, if we're going to say that a private company has the chance and the opportunity to choose its terms of employment, then <laughs> let's just remember where this can go. Because I think it would be interesting if companies that were owned by right-leaning conservative individuals then said, you know what? Since we're going to be making employment decisions based on medical decisions, we will not employ anyone who has had or is going to have an abortion. That would be interesting. I'm wondering if the same people who are now just huge advocates for, hey, it's a private company, they can choose who they employ or not, if they would still continue to feel that way. Because there are people who, who call themselves, who identify as libertarians. There are people who are on the left who are making this claim. And clearly the people on the left who are making this claim are saying this because they're, you know, like, oh, well, these are your principles. If you believe in private companies making their own decisions, I'm like, okay, but let's remember, advocating for this type of policy can open the Pandora's box of companies exercising control over their employees. But of course, there is something you could do. You could just work for yourself. You see, because one of my philosophies is if you own your own business, then you don't have to worry about somebody holding your money over your head. In other words, trying to say, hey, if you want this paycheck, you've got to do X, Y, Z. That's the, the ultimate solution to not having to worry about people trying to use a paycheck to exert further control over your life. It is gonna be interesting to see where this ends, if he stands firm, if they cave, or if he caves. I'll keep you posted on this because I wanna see where this goes next. As always, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you disagree with me and if you think, no, this guy's an idiot, he shouldn't even be, he, he should just mind his business. He, go In fact, he's a hypocrite because he already got the vaccine. That's what you feel, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. But be sure to tell me why in the comment section so I can address it either in the comment section or in a future video. I'll see you next time.